Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a great week. Um, today I am gonna do a kind of a what in the world product. Um, I was playing around on, I believe it was Instagram, and I found an ad for this waterproof setting powder. Now, based on the video, it claims that um, applied after you use like a liquid foundation or any kind of form of liquid, um, it's supposed to uh, make the face waterproof and so it's not gonna budge. Um, so we're gonna put that to the test. I've had this for a while. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, just haven't quite found the right time, but I guess today is the day. Um, so I actually, when I ordered this, um, it actually came from uh, Korea. It took like two or three weeks to get here. I ordered it, it was 13 bucks. I was like, eh, for what, what, what the heck? Why not give it a shot? See if it's worth the hype. Um, based on the video that was shown, it looks like it could be an incredible product. Um, so we're gonna put that to the test today. Um, I am gonna go ahead, do a full face of makeup real quick and we're gonna put this on and I'm gonna do check-ins throughout the day to um, kind of see if it holds up as well as uh, it says it does. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and get going on the face.
right, next I'm gonna go in with that powder. Now that I actually have my entire face on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that powder and set the face. I'm not gonna use the little poof that they gave me. Instead, I'm gonna use my uh, beauty. It is translucent, so it's really, really white if you can't already see. So I'm gonna shake some of it up and ooh. I'm gonna see how this works. All right, it actually kind of gave me a really natural finish. Um, let me touch up. actually gave me a really nice finish um it did make me look a little bit paler than i would like so i am going to go back in with my anastasia bronzing powder um in the shade tawny i'm gonna use my real technique techniques contouring brush and i'm just gonna lightly dust that on there I did kind of mess up on the bronzing powder, so what I'm gonna do is go in with some with my blending brush, or my, my sponge, sorry, and kind of put some of that foundation on there to kind of help it out a little bit. Overall, I'm not too overly upset about the finish. It feels very soft to the touch. Um, it actually kind of helps to blend the makeup a little bit better. Um, so I actually don't mind it one bit. Um, we are going to see how this lasts. I'm going to do a couple check-ins throughout the evening, um, and see, uh, if there are any issues with it. Meanwhile, I am going to go ahead and finish up my look. Kind of struggling with lashes today. This is not normal for me. Normally it's boom, there are zip zip, they're on. Uh, today is not that case. So my look is done for the day. Um, like I said tonight, I am gonna do some check-ins. Um, I am going out with a couple friends tonight and my boyfriend. So um, I will be doing some check-ins throughout the night um, to show you guys how uh, this powder works. Um, to be honest, I have no idea how to get this powder again. So, um, and of course I deleted the email. Um, but this, it looks like um, the company is Color Geometry uh, and Gather Beauty. Um, so this is the product that comes in the container. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna try and track down the website and post it up at a later date as to where I found this, but I'm going to do some check-ins. I'm going to go about my afternoon and get some of my stuff done. Um, and I will be uh, checking in with you guys shortly. Okay, guys. So I decided that I'm going to test this waterproof uh, setting powder. Um, so I'm going to put some water on my face and see what it actually, if it's actually as waterproof as it says it is, so.
I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. The water kind of repelled off of it. But it almost let's try this again. All right, I don't think it's as waterproof as it says it is. Um, like right here, I can see a color difference. And part of that might be because of the blush, but it almost looks to me like my makeup is kind of lifted a little bit. Um, which kind of leads me to believe that this is not as waterproof as it says it is. Um, cause this side looks really like satiny and yet this side, it feels like, I don't know. I don't know. Like I almost kind of want to mark up a sweat to kind of see if it works. I mean, it, it's a good setting powder. I'm just not entirely sure if it is as waterproof as it says it is. So um, I'm gonna do another check-in here after a bit um, and see if we get anywhere on this. All right, I'm just doing a quick check-in. We're on our way to go hang out with a couple friends. Um, the face powder is kind of creasing a little bit. I noticed like not too long ago that um, it looked a little cakey. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. But I mean, other than that, it looks good. I still don't think it's as waterproof as it says it is, but we're gonna continue on with our night. Okay, so I'm gonna do my final check-in right now. Um, there's bad creasing here and here, so on my laugh lines. Um, it's still really cakey right through here and like right in here. Um, yeah, I just don't know if I really like this powder. It kind of defined my wrinkles a lot more. Um, so that kind of makes it a little bit more difficult for me to use. Sorry, I've got frizzy hair right now, my hair. I brushed it out. <laughs> um, the powder's not horrible. I just don't really think it's as waterproof as it says it is, or um, I just, I don't like the way it cakes on my face. So uh, someone else might like this powder. I just personally don't think I do. So um, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hope you have a great week. Uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every weekend. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm about to uh, crash and uh, go to bed. So I'll see you guys later.